Hey guys, it's me again, Pepper3344, with a Bionicle mock review. Uh, today's review is going to, his voice is coming off, um, today's review is Toa Pepper, my uh, sort of Toa self mock. I will change him up to make him look a bit more awesome, I just wanted to uh, have him a little bit resemble the uh, Pepper Blaze Hero Factory mock. If you haven't seen that yet, check it out. It should be on my channel. Um, I may make an annotation somewhere around on the screen so you can uh, find that video. But let's start the review. I've already reviewed the mask, so just take it off. The head, it's a... Losing my voice, this is the third review I've done in one day. Um, the Toa Metru head, I had to uh, look up at my uh, Toa Likan to remember the name. Um, his eyes are the Piraka, you know, the, the laser eye thing. Just added that so it'd look a bit cool. It's kind of dying, I got it from my... Uh, Vizok character, and he was my first Paraka, so. This yellow Toamari, or not, not Toamari, they did use it in the Mari, but so was a sort of mild yellow Paraka chest plate with The filled in Toametru arms and the Toamet and the Toametru legs pieces being used as arms and then the uh, yellowish Glatorian hand. So you know he can punch his enemy or just have his arm fall off. Purple waist area from the Toma Metru. His other arm basically the same except a yellow Fentoka hand which is holding a gold Zamro Spear launcher and basically the same stop motion based weapon as before except you know different it's shorter. Um, I will try to revamp this model, but it could take some time of thinking and proceeding to do and finding my uh, canisters that have my parts in them. Anyways, the legs are just the uh, Toa Nika legs, legs and feet, and the Paraka leg armor piece. Flip them over onto the back. He has these red fins from the Toa Mystica. These are from the uh, Toa Tahu set which I've taken apart and used for mock parts. Toa Jaller Inaika's light up sword. We'll just take and then another like nub that we saw that I put on the Toa Tanma mock. We'll just put his melee weapon in his hand there. We have both of Hero Factory 1.0 Surge's weapons, basically being represented as a jetpack sort of thing. So he can like glide and whatever, he can do that. And I changed 
Notice I did change the uh, position of where his gun hand is, where his integrated Zamro launcher is. So that way he wouldn't look weird getting into uh, melee sword fights. So that is my view. I've basically got nothing else to say on this uh, self mock of Toa Pepper. Stay tuned for more of my Bionicle reviews and check out my first review. Uh, don't forget to check out my second channel, Pepper Games. I may put a uh, little annotation thing somewhere on the screen so you can click and go to the second channel. Um, I only have five videos there. I am currently uploading my fourth part for the Zero Mission walkthrough. Um, today, which is the day I am reviewing, not the day that I am posting these reviews, um, I will be filming parts five, six, and however many I can get through today. So, it's Pepper3344, signing off. See you on the next either Hero Factory mock or Bionicle mock or actual Bionicle set review.